on the art talking about the two bozos right oh, here. That's, that's me, guys. That's us. It's a big game. Uh, vegan chicken. Oh, I've heard. The homies. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're already going crazy. Versus UMass. You know, UMass, not, not the best team in the split, but we've heard some things. Yeah. They say, uh, you know, hey, we've, we've improved a little bit. And what's crazy is that tonight, Vegan Chicken has two subs from my opinion. Oh, oh, wait, am I drinking something? I might be drinking something. Anyway, let me uh, forget that. Scratch that. Uh, remove that post. Anyway. Uh -oh. um, but it is week seven, the last week before playoffs, so nothing going on. You're in the standings. So you see Vegan Chicken's up there. They're up there. Um, you'll notice a couple teams have not um, returned to the standings. Don't worry about all that. Uh, That's any, different. Right, let's move on from there. So, so I, I got to add a little question. Oh, why do we see the matches we know the wins and the loss total? Why do we need to know that? What do you mean? So, so wait, <laughs> because sometimes... You are you telling me the... Bye week are now. you telling me the, in the NFL I see how many games they've played as if I can't add nine and three? <laughs> It's just easier that way. Think about <laughs> is it. it? Imagine, is it? okay, the way you put it is if UMass had a bye week, There's then they'd only have 11 matches. But you can play. still add their wins and losses. It's, that's how many games they play. No, oh, it doesn't I work do like it. that. It doesn't <laughs> work like that. Heck, yeah. They've all played 12. Patrick, I'm going to tell you something right now. Welcome to the real world. Yeah, you're the. <laughs> yeah, this is the real world. I want to wake up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, oh you God. don't know. Well, anyways, they've all played 12 matches. But, you know, uh, right now, you can almost argue a bit of a mismatch here. Vegan Chicken's top of the standings. UMass Amherst down at the bottom. Yeah, so UMass needs this win, right? They do. Big time. They do. This, this has playoff this implications. Yeah, it does. It, it's big time. Especially I mean, after the game of City and uh, they won two last week. They did a great job last week. Yeah, they came now back. Now they're going um, like, you know, like I said, there, there are two teams that are gone. So that did add to that piece, but... They're now in fourth here, so you have to they want to tie for that spot. They got to pay pal a lot of money. Yeah, they got to pay pal a lot of money to get that spot. But this is a game of a lifetime for them. I mean, they got they got to really hammer hard, and you they know, got to hope Obsidian loses this win streak. Yeah. Going on right now. And you know, I got to say, I, I don't think I've seen this enough. I think we need this on the screen for about 10 more minutes for me to understand what the standings are. Well, oh, they see, there we go. There we go. Now we're back in Where reality. It's just us. I know you guys like we're in Winter us Wonderland. Home. Something yeah. like that. It's crazy. Yeah. It's wild. That's kind of fancy. Guys, I think we have picked Dan right. Do we? So we're gonna go right cannot, now. That doesn't sound that right. Cannot be Dude, true. why is the, what is wrong with the lighting right now? Josh looks like he's about to ascend to heaven, and I'm in the annals of yeah. hell. He's, uh,. <laughs> Well, that's that's technically yeah. correct, right? -da. Well, what is it? Is it Icarus? Yeah. No, he moved An too close to the sun. No, you're Anarius from Diablo, and oh, he's shit. Lilith. Okay. Ooh. Oh, oh my more. goodness! And well, I died. So. That's the wrong franchise. You can't say that. Is that true? I fucking died. Some power bands coming out here immediately. Ashkan the Great has been banned right off the bat. Milkai has also been banned. Pike. The uh, water underlord. Isn't Malachi just such an irritating champ, man? He ah, is. He's, he's very tough. He, uh, sure. and some could say the same about Phil Six, so I think they took him away just because right now. Uh, I can't blame him. And Evelyn, look at this. So, so Ooh, many invisibility that. champs. Oh, get, get him out of here. Banned he off this map. This he is clearly him. the theme right now saying, listen, if you can go invisible, I don't want to play a game with you. I can't um, see him. What am I supposed to do? If, yeah. You know, I can't do anything. Three gone, and I think that's actually all invisibility champs. No, the yeah. last invisibility champ, Urgot, has been banned. That's it. There's no more. Well, you know what champ. the great Muhammad Ali said: "If I can see it, I can lick it." Is that true? He, I I you might do. be misquoting something or misrepresenting, but I think that's pretty accurate. I always remember the one quote I remember is by John Wilkes Booth, who said, "You miss 100 percent of the shots you don't take." That is true. <laughs> and you know, nothing to this day, nothing lives truer to that. Death right, taxes that's and John Wilkes Booth. That's what I, mean, I always I'll tell my kids. Him. He's the greatest NBA player of all time. I yeah. know. John I know. Wilkes Booth. He yeah, he was good. He was. He was. He went hard, yo. Uh, right next to Kobe, LeBron James. That's right. Now, speaking of which, uh, look, at this. look at that pick, sorry. A little Ash pick, you know. Ash got a little bit of flex opportunity. See some support action, AD carry action. There's a really strong AD carry in general. No right way. Now. We got a. Ash oh, thrash. we got a thrash. We got a thrash pick right here. Is that? Is it really that exciting? Yes. You it don't is. understand. 
You don't understand. I, noodle, right? It's it's yeah. got to be noodle on Thresh. This guy's a monster. Is on he? Thresh. Yeah. I was is just he? thinking about food. I thought we talked to Noodle earlier, but I don't think I saw him. Ooh. Yes, you had your eyes Interesting. I don't think I saw either of them. They're going to possibly no. get both soul lane picks out of the way, going for the Aatrox yeah. pick. Just confident. Like, there's no counter picks. We're going to ban him. Garen, gone. Oh. What? Maybe if you weren't gone, nothing's going to be left on the table. Right. So, I mean, you're, if you're UMass, you have a chance to pick top here, right? Yeah. If you go against Aatrox, give me your three strongest champions against Aatrox that dude, you think. I, I can't beat Aatrox. I don't know. They all, a, I'm telling you, dude, Aatrox just does not lose. I'm giving you that right now. Never mind. Is that true? Nar. Karma. Oh, Karma. And. I like Karma. And. Why Darius? Oh. Well, here's the question. Why Darius, right? So Aatrox is a dark end. He's yep. very bloody. Right, right, but right, 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 Darius, right, right. he applies blood. He loves blood. He, he wants that. Back? I mean, Dar stack. Darius can snowball loves... against any matchup in the game, you know? That free. can't be true, You get that. It? You go, like, mm -hmm. level one. You got Ghost. You got W. You can chase anyone down in the game, you know? If you catch somebody too close to your tower, we're running you right down. True. He so doesn't blood. care. But so Aatrox, I mean, it's it's tough because on his third auto attack, he can press his W and switch back over to either life steal At or oh, extra damage. Somebody's been in a coma for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that, no. they don't, and that then, exists anymore. When he uses his passive and he takes enough damage and he dies, but as long as he did enough damage, he goes back into a little cone mode and yeah. then he springs back to life. See, this yeah. is incredible. This is just like like some gaslighting there is somebody right out there that is going what <laughs> <laughs> yeah i know right <laughs> has no clue that was a thing yeah all, all three people watching the stream it says 26.9 thousand right here oh that yeah. that's uh channel points i'm surprised we have that many we have a lot that's pretty good that's, well it's easy when you yeah, know the script and you and I'm telling, all <laughs> i'm telling you right now this is like some classic league picks right here you know yeah you got your two hyper care, you got the Azir oh, Yash, great. you got Gray's the tank top just laner. nerfed in every single possible way. I uh, still, still, I, you know, I will never doubt a Grave, you know. No. Always, always a really strong early game champ, can duel a lot of people. Yeah. Um, let me just see how they wrap this draft up. Assuming the jungle pick is still up, you still can flex Nico into the jungle, I suppose. Maybe. But we'll probably see a different jungler coming out here. Interesting to save that for the last pick. Definitely Goodbye. very confident picking the Aatrox early. Goodbye. I wouldn't mind to buy here. I think that would kind of do well with their Dang it. So yeah. Been cool okay. Get that right. Uh, you know, some global pressure, some decent CC there. Engage is actually decent. You know, got the Nautilus, the Nico, uh, some. I don't know what happened. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea either. Why it's so warm. I touched this thing my, one time. Even my chair is just yeah, wild. Right I'm now. telling you, man. Donate money to the SLS. We need it. <laughs> yeah, we need we a need table. It, we can't. And chair. We can't afford anything, dude. Yeah, this is bad right now. Uh, but very good comps right here. We know what Vegan Chicken can do, right? They're on the top, pretty much the top of the leaderboard yeah. uh, for a team. So this is going to be very hard for a matchup. We see a couple comfort picks. We've seen Orn played on UMass side before. We've seen Thresh played. Aster just an overall pretty good champion. Um, do a lot of damage. Azir is one of those people where if you can kind of make it to late game, you practically win. That, they have infinite um, scaling on yeah, the blue side they, for sure. they do. Uh, UMass has infinite scaling, but can they get to that point? Do they have enough... Uh, early game outs in order I to get know. there. Like I, I think these lanes could snowball out of control, Let's, and we'll, we'll yeah. definitely have to see if that is the case. Because I think we got game action, raring and ready not to yet. go. Not oh, yet. we don't. Oh, oh, because that would imply so, people yeah, are ready. Yeah, not yet. Uh, we can't so, have that. We can still hold champ like for like another ten minutes. At, at least I, I'm down to riff. I'm down to riff on the. So, rip. so for those of you that don't know, Josh actually got a tattoo of Swag Life series. Mm -hmm. Um, I can't show it. Though. Oh, technically, spot. yes. Technically, you can't. Uh, honestly, but I don't know no. what the FCC's ruling is on the gooch. No, I'm not. But it's but it's ultraviolet <laughs> light, so it has oh, to be. You have to right. do black light that you can kind of see it. Yeah, so one of you will have to shine it on me. Yeah. Oh, there he and is. And I will. He's pot friend. Go there he is. Nico. Go Nico from Slothic says. Actually, he takes it back and says, "Never mind. Go Azer." What? Oh, he. Whoa. He is flipping he, teams. You know what? Fast. He saw the logo. He does not want UMass to win. Oh, yeah, wait. Wait a minute. Are, Zachary! No, no, no. You What's the flip, pick been wrong? You gotta again? flip the. No, no, no. Noodle is actually UMass. Okay. It was right. He just has to flip it now. 
You just have to flip the icons, man. Logo was on the wrong side, but go red side. It was yeah, they, it was the right B-Red. side. Thank you. It was the right side, but now it's been changed. <laughs> if we to ever the had the side. logo right to start the game, it wouldn't be the SLS. No, think about it. If we have the logo right to start the game, that means six more weeks of winter. That does. So, that, yeah, that. So <laughs> we don't want that. Yeah. We don't want that. So this is why we do that it. That means Puxatani's getting down with his bad self. We oh, thank that. you for the follow, Kiwi Yuki. Wow. Very nice. Very nice. That's yeah. a good fruit. I love kiwis, man. Yeah. You ever eat the skin? Don't. Don't. Is that true? You no, can't really eat that? True. Why? I eat that all the time. You can, it's but nice. I don't know. It's a little hairy. I used to throw the, the kiwi skin in my bathtub, and it was like Epsom salt. Oh, so then you <laughs> soak it in. And yeah, yeah, yeah. It was kind nice. of nice. That's, That's actually, actually nice. nice. Yeah, it was actually I like very it. nice. Me like you. Oh, oh wait, to... I, I seem to have a fever dream of only Poppy's Aatrox, and uh, it was a sight to behold. Yeah, for real. For real. So, aggressive bot lane actually kind of on both sides. It, it, yeah. it almost stems Ooh. out the same. A Thresh e start for a little extra damage when he gets the play in there, plus his first auto attack, but still lost that trade. And with the push going, you're going to see a level 2 possibly coming out of Vegan side first, so they might have to back out on this one. Yeah, definitely. They have the yeah, the level the two threat. instantly dropped at the same time. Bot lane, a hook oh, going no. down immediately. Thresh has to flash out, and Ash ghosted on top of it. Yeah, the ghost by Ash a little bit interesting. Uh, Thresh was definitely getting she targeted. Did. She did ghost. Was she? No, it's, it's, it's still up. It's still up. But what was that little? Thing I swear, I saw a ghost. It looked like it, like on her character, but I don't know what that was. Oh, does she have? Um, no, she doesn't have fleece. She has uh, lethal, tem lethal tempo. Yeah, I swear, I, I swear, I swear, I saw a ghost. You're it messing like with me. Sure. You're messing with me. Go back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go back. <laughs> yeah, we got a we got a glitch in the matrix. <laughs> yeah, but I say this lane probably MF Nautilus favored. You know they have like really good burst, hard engage. Um, I mean the Thresh Ash can bully a lot of lanes, but I feel like the damage you're getting out of the Nautilus and the MF is a little bit too much. However, both jungles will be pathing. Down to this boss side, it's going to be interesting to see if they end up clashing into each other. Talia already almost finished with her full clear. That is crazy. I, I, not too many people going to out full clear Graves, but uh, Talia is doing it easily. She's that Earthbender, dude. Yeah, yeah. It, it is tough. I, I, I almost wonder what happened uh, in the jungle. Um, because, for real, Graves has just one of those clears where... Well, maybe the nerfs are... Uh, maybe, die, maybe, yeah. maybe the nerfs really are slowing this guy down because... Typically, where I'm from, if someone plays Graves, they're a master smurf. Like, mm -hmm. that's just a without failure. Yeah, and uh, they have intel on this Talia. They know where she is, and Graves is going to go get this scuttle on the other side. Talia is going to do a full clear recall. So, really, really passive early game so far. Not a lot of lanes showing a lot of avenue for gank. Bot lane, the only one with the blown flash, but it's too pushed in to really and look at. I, li I like it for a little bit for Miss Talia. Yeah. Uh, she went Dark Seal, but then went to go off base and refunded it and yeah. bought a Doron ring instead. So uh, kind of looking for m maybe it's still more farming rather than ganking, uh, it seems uh, like. Graves going to come up here to break the freeze. Um, yeah, definitely going to be a tough situation for Orn getting froze on. Well, <laughs> I respect take... that to the maximum. He came in and took, took the, the cannon. cannon. That's right, baby. <laughs> I respect that more than oh, anything on man. this planet. The, the only thing that's yeah. more respectable is if he gives kills to the top laner. Yeah. Take cannon and give kills. That is how you tilt the top laner out of the game. And uh, you see the fight going on here. Not going to really turn into too much. They're just going to scare him off the wave. And uh, they did break the freeze. That wave is going to crash. So Orn's going to get his recall off and be able to catch the wave that's crashing back. So... I mean, an effective gank by the Graves. He got the wave back yep. to a spot where Orn can still play the game. Yeah, and you, you saw there, right there, uh, the Aatrox got nearsighted. And yeah. fun fact, when Teemo blinds everybody in the game, they're blinded. Dude. But when he blinds Lee Sin, Lee Sin regains full vision for three seconds. Isn't that crazy? What are you even saying right that's real. What, what, I didn't even listen. Oh, first blood. Oh, but they trade it back. And the damage coming in. The hook lands, but it's not going to be enough. That is one kill going over to Thresh. But MF picking up the equalizer kill. Going to be good money going on to the MF. Thresh not really sure what he's going to do with that gold. Who got the first? Was that M MF got the first MF blood, got too? It, yeah. So that's a huge gold swing right there. She's going to love that. Already had the CS advantage. This whole wave is going to crash. Uh, probably she'll be able to pick up most of the wave it being a cannon wave, Ash going to get most of this, but still, 
this MF is in a fantastic spot. Throws the Lantern, gets Ash to lane a little bit quicker, but MF's going to be going back, spending that gold, probably buying herself a Dirk. Dirk? Really? You really think she's going to go Ghost Blade? I don't know. What is the MF build these days? What Ghost is the Blade? Blade? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, got him. Dirky. Dirk Dude, Divinsky. somebody's been playing too much Balloon Tower Defense I 6. I have. You I can't, so dude. I, this yeah. table is getting thrown out. I, yeah. <laughs> it is so. I can't well, even. I don't know what's wrong it. with it. That, do we have any like coaster, any cardboard anywhere? Oh, wait, oh wait, we do. Let, oh fuck. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna go dismantle one of our non-alcoholic cases of beverage. Yo, open that That's trash can. That's too. a very good idea. Oh. <laughs> 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 All right, oh, little. We should use it. Didn't you put that? Oh, there? we see. Talia oh, here down. we go. Missed the Nautilus you. does miss it. Thresh lands a hook right here. A lot of damage going out. MF has a free reign to do whatever she wants. Uh, I think Thresh is staying alive, and uh, that's it. There you go. Graves came down <laughs> at a good time. I think Talia was. Uh, you know, she tried there. The Nautilus more, misses the Q. Thresh lands his though. So. Yeah, sorry, we're we're doing a little construction out here, so so we we weren't able to pick up all that. Uh, but a little recap of what happened is Graves went down there, Graves picked up a kill, Ash died, um, MF picked up a kill, and that was kind of it. Right. <clears throat> and now we have oh, we're back. Um. Yeah. Oh. Okay, Bard, uh, not, not Bard. <laughs> Bard. Not Bard. Bard has um, entered the rift from Twisted Tree Line. He came in with his yeah. portal. A new challenger approaches. Orn doing a little bit of damage, but Aatrox, you know, he, he can do some damage too. Oh, shit. Aatrox is a little scared right now. Um, I think rightfully, because Orn is just such a piece of shit. I hate that I little, I hate that little better. ram bitch. Oh, and we've been flashbang. Oh my god, we're playing CS2, actually, yeah. Wow. You know, I thought I saw earlier there were two MFs on the board for Red Team. How, is that, how did that possibly happen where there's two MFs on the screen? So, uh, what you're seeing is glaucoma. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> I gotta check in tomorrow. Yeah, yeah you definitely need a doctor, God so. <clears throat> oh, God. Oh, Grace? Oh, my God. Grace is getting actually yeah. game banged. Yeah, he is gone. That is a four man over here. <laughs> the uh, next course of action, of course, is going to be take down that little Rift Herald. Shelly is doing a lot of stuff right now. That's going to be a Rift Herald dead, probably at the nine minute mark. So you're going to be able to get those plating somewhere. And because you take Rift Herald down before, you got a kill advantage right here 1.3k gold. You're going to move over to Dragon at this point. You've got vision on it, you know what's what. Uh, this is not looking good for you, Mass Amar. Dude, I'm Amherst. telling you, I'm telling you right now, this is. I know Ash was involved in this play, but this is a situation for Ash where you are not feeling good. This is like uh, you're on watch if you're this Ash. Like it's not, uh, like you are down two kills, like down forty CS. Oh, they're gonna it's, dive him and take his. Place. Oh, and top lanes. The story is not even better. Any better top lanes? This guy's yeah. hundred percent dead. Oh, Here comes done, the rip. No, watch this outplay. Watch this outplay. Watch this outplay. He waits it out. Some spells do get thrown, but if they just juggle tower oh, aggro, boy. there is no way this gets traded over. And I meant bot lane for the outplay. Shut A down. shutdown oh! goes over Thresh. to Thresh right oh, there. Oh. This is great. Top lane is going to at, uh, maybe lose no. everything, right? I no, mean, they'll lose, they'll four, lose plates are, four plates are gone. They, a bit of a misplay to proc the rift as early as they did. They could have waited. They could have maybe done a little bit more plate damage if they get that a little bit lower before they proc it. But still, an effective dive. Orin loses a ton of farm. Still a ton of tempo Actually, I, th I think a great job by UMass Amherst. They're actually rotated over to the dragon, and Graves is trying to do it yeah, right now is... with Thresh's help just to clear vision. Yeah, you know, so, a really effective play, definitely. Yeah, you know, definitely. Get something back for uh, a bad situation. And they're going to easily secure this one. The Nautilus looks over, and uh, it's going to be too little too late. Uh, if Graves just throws the lantern over for Thresh, and he does! Oh, that man. is it. The Graves yeah. has put a lantern right over for Thresh, and Thresh grabs it with a hex you know, flash over the wall. You know, sure, the shutdown goes over bot lane, but it went on Thresh. That's not looking too hot. I've man. seen Thresh carries the game, especially I, I when it's from Noodle. I don't know, man. Uh, maybe, but 
if you're Ash, man, you are having a rough. You are two levels down now. <laughs> you catch this wave, it'll be a little bit better, but it's just not a good situation. You say that now, but just wait three minutes. Oh, three minutes. All right, we got a bit of a call out here. Wave crashing in, bot, no play to be picked up. Is there enough time? Oh my lord. Oh my, my, my. I don't think I want that. I don't think I want what the chef's cooking right now. You're fucking nuts, dude. The, the chef knows how to cook, I'll tell you that much. Speaking of knowing how to cook, they're cooking up something in this bot lane here. They're maybe looking for a dive action. They just want to get these plates. I mean, MF is just running the show right now. Has her mythic, has the Yomus. Just running all over the place. And dealing some massive beat to this tower. That play almost dead. Talia just kind of here, like, just run interference. Like, no one can show up. Who is going to stop oh, them? Oh, plating. Yeah, they get another plating, and they're just going to keep getting plating. Why not? They're just getting platings all across the map. 3K gold lead already is huge. Another plating. Minutes. Good thing they reduced that gold because uh, there'd be a lot of a lot of problems for there. And so, actually, can we get a where the gold are standing right here? A little switch up from the c cameraman. Yeah, look at all that gold. Just yo, there we go. Look Thresh at this. Almost has more gold than Ash. I would yeah. want to end it if I were that Ash. Yeah, look at this. Look at how close this is. And they're going over here looking for the dive. Noodle actually running really far I away from the turret. And oh, is it taking doesn't matter damage, if they mess but, this up. Yeah, it's, this it's is impossible. It. Nothing could be done right there. I think uh, turret is going to lose another plating. I was correct about that. And um, but look at on the top side, they're trying to do a reverse. What happened to them on the bot side? But I don't even think they can kill this Aatrox right now with the both of them. Grave needs to get a little bit stronger. Josh, are you still fucking drink one? Hmm? You want to drink one? No, this is number two. Oh, okay. I haven't drank, drank a lot. Of oh, I look at little little that. Nico! Mm. And look at this, a lot of stuff going on right here. Orm with a beautiful engage. A lot of damage getting done by the Azir right here. There's one kill. There is What's two in here? kills. What's in here? <laughs> That's Jade. That's Jade for that question. <laughs> <laughs> you started chugging when I asked if it was the first drink. <laughs> it's the true rule. Like a like oh, yeah, yeah, like yeah. a ten count it's four. We'll take it. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Wow. Great job uh from you U U Mass. Mass. I actually oh, think you Mass, right. yeah. Gray's picked up a kill, Azir picked up a kill. Um it was a two for two? I think. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but I believe it was a two for two right there. But the problem is Talia is now four and one. Yeah. The other problem is MF is now three and one. Um, I would hate to be on <laughs> on the other team where you have, and I'm going to have to say this, 60 CS to 120 yeah, CS. That's, that, oh, is, yeah, I, that is that's flame horizon yeah, numbers right there. That it's is that really is good. a problem right there. Like I understand you're losing the lane a little bit, but that gap should be 30 CS. Yeah. You know what I mean? That you that, know, that should not be that. I gotta far. give it to this little Lauren man. He's playing his heart out. He's only down 10 CS in this matchup with how camped he's been. Yeah. Pretty solid. Yeah, you know, you get tower dove and you're only down 10 CS. That is a good situation to be in. Yeah, it is. Azir actually has the most CS on the map right yeah. now. Yeah, Azir is really, really putting yeah. in work, really trying to get his team. You know, see, guys, don't worry. Just calm down. Stay at your tower. I'll carry this game. That's what, You know that's what the comms are right now. You know I, that's what the I, yeah, comms are. I heard a rule one time back in the day, and it was um, – it's, it's actually a classic phrase from bronze players that said, listen – I got C 60 CS. That's more than enough. And they go around <laughs> and try to kill players for the rest of the game. So, yeah. Uh, See, that's, yeah, 60 CS. So, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so that's right. it. So that's all you yep. need. 60 CS is the benchmark for. I've done actually a pretty good farm. Yeah, job. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> yeah. Did I get that 60 CS at the 20 Graves, minute mark? You don't Doesn't want matter. this right now. No. Oh my no. goodness, the Nico oh. flash right over. He is gone. That leaves an avenue over here to Rift Herald. Orn the Orn does the miss. Ult. There's a blast cone over here, but Azir is trying to wall him off at this point for making He's it happen. Done. The Thresh Hook goes down. Wow. Frymaster96 picks up a beautiful kill. They're going to go rotate right over to Rift Herald while Vegan Chickens 
picks up the ocean soul. Yeah, you know, that's he, actually pretty nice. Yeah, not the soul, just I know, yeah, yeah. pretty nice. Nice little dragon equalizer. They yeah. get a nice kill onto the Aatrox, who you know, both top laners 0, 2, and 3, man. That's the life of a top laner, man. Yeah, People are just is. gonna come take all your stuff. They don't, you don't even get the kills, you get some assist as consolation prizes, man. They don't care about oh, you. Oh, they're coming. I, I will leave the game if this if they steal Rift Herald. Right oh, here. it's gone. You kidding me? Shut down. Azir picks that one up. Oh, no. They're going to pick up the they Rift did. Herald. All right, they good. do get it. That is a huge shutdown. down. Talia getting a little overconfident. Uh, the recall is a little questionable, but he does. He makes it out. Anyways, oh, he's fine. Dude. So, he's fine. Azir, I like it. He gets the shutdown gets from the, the Talia. Dude. This is the man. If you want your gold on two people, I'd say. One Azir, two is Grave. That's what I yeah. put it on. And I agree. Because even if Ash is behind, she's still a stun bot. She is, yeah. She just needs to find that ultimate that stuns somebody for 99 mm -hmm. seconds, and you can win a game. Like, honestly, the rest of the team is just utility. The fact yeah. that Thresh has some kills, just some gravy on there. You know, he has his full mythic. He's chilling, man. He's yep. having a good time. The problem is Frymaster96 has done too good of a job, right? He has gone very even in lane. He's picked up three kills. He has not died yet. And he actually just had a shutdown, but because they lost the turret, he lost the shutdown. Oh, no. Yeah, which is incredible. I've never no seen that before. Way. But here's what you do. So now all eyes are on you right here. Oh, all oh, eyes are on you. you. Here, he goes. here he comes. The flat. Oh. He's out. That was a really nice play. He gets a pretty much max slide on his, on his QE. That was beautiful. Play. That was nice. That was that really, was nice. really well played. That was very nice. A little bit of a drift. That man, yeah, you know, that man knows how to get the maximum. You know, you, you start that E, and then you Q at the end to get the maximum distance. You know, you, you just ride that soldier as hard the as you Shurima can. Shurima Shuffle. Yeah, yeah. And, hey, and if that soldier says, that. sir, I don't know if I can follow this order, it doesn't matter. You have to right. listen to order, soldier, and he's going to ride you until he's done. I have, dude, that's giving me PTSD. I right know, now. I know. I'm sorry for bringing that up, but... Uh, here is a 2v1 done. situation right here. Aatrox trying to do what he can to get out. The, uh, oh, uh, uh, there is a prime. Uh, oh, there, my God. there is a Aatrox that goes Death down. all over the prime place. Master oh almost takes down Nico so close. A global so one close. for one. Global yep. one for one. Uh, you know, plays being made on both sides of the map. Neither of these Ash, teams are out of get it. out of there. Yeah, please. Yes. Leave that tower. You have you no leave. right. If they decide they want to dive you, you're, you're dead. dead. Yeah. Beyond dead. They don't even care if Thresh, they want Thresh there. That means there's two kills coming their way. I know. I I mean, that was, I can't believe they didn't dive Ash. I, I actually cannot I, honestly, believe Honestly, probably that. good instincts. They were collapsing. They knew all the pressure was on top, so they had to come mid from there. But Graves, way overconfident right now. Oh, Goes to the jungle. Here's Talia. That burst damage is absurd. Nearly one shots by herself. The loot, just two items. Yeah. That explains That's everything. A lot of damage. Got the, uh, got the mask and the Ludens. Oh, the Nico. MFO comes oh, through. My. Thresh lives with a sliver. Azir, I don't know what he's looking for there, but he's just looking to die. He goes in. He is running for his life. The question is, who finishes this kill off? Is it going to be in time? Aatrox over the wall. One. He's out. W lands, and he Prime is Master gone. 96 teleports out, and he, he is alive. Incredibly. You know, Azir <laughs> looked for something there. I don't know what he was looking for. I think he got a little impatient. That no. man just needs to scale. I think the call out was, hey, I know I'm caught. We can win this fight. I know. You, in fact, cannot win that fight. <laughs> and uh, that was it for you. So, listen, the little bit of the comeback that you mass started to have is now gone. They're down, they're down almost 6K gold at this point, right? The dragons are tied. The Rift Heralds have gone either way. So, what do you do, Josh? I want to hear your input. You're in UMass's chair. You're the captain of the team. You're shot calling. Tell me, what do you do to overcome this 6K gap? Okay, so Ash is going to run it down mid, um, try to fight MF right now. The rest of the team goes to the Dragon that spawns in 40 seconds. They get it. Mm -hmm. And then Vegan Chicken uh, kills all of them. And then they ace UMass, and then they lose. <laughs> oh, that's, that's honestly, does honestly, that work? The best situation might be to go next. You know, 6K gold is a lot of gold. That's a lot but of you need this down. game. You need this game. So you have to start playing for it. The Rift Herald was summoned oh, bot lane, oh, I believe, oh, right it's here. It's over. It's over. Go next. 
Graves Joe, has no man. way to get out of there. Just going to be a free kill going over to MF. A beautiful wall by Talia. The Thresh Hook lands, but I don't think you want to be pulling them closer to you. Uh, the Azir turret is going to deter them from diving here, but that is going to line up perfectly with the Dragon Spawn. Aatrox pushing the bot lane out. They're going to try to rotate, maybe cut Aatrox off from the pit, making it a 4v4, but I don't think you even want to take this fight as is. Yeah. Nico is top. But has TP. So has it could TP. be a bait. Yeah, they do go for the Aatrox. That is the route they choose, but the Ash Arrow goes wide. If you're not landing arrows and you're 0-4, why are you still in the game? No offense, buddy, but that is a rough Ash game if I ever saw one. Tough being Ash in this game. Yeah, I think they might go to baron at this they, point honestly yeah. yeah they have full they have full map pressure so they did recall they're going to see this but oh, they, they self-destruct honestly uh -oh. honestly oh my goodness they're so far that. ahead i would just stat check them say come to baron we're more than willing to fight as long as they make the call to peel off and fight this baron call is perfect watch this okay here's what i'm gonna call right azir goes in there ult all five people out of the pit they graves Flashes. They are and approaching ult this way too slow. Over and oh, no. steals it. It's ready? Gone. Just get ready for this. They, that was crazy. They, <laughs> they were too that. afraid approaching that. They, yeah, they, they should have known all five run bear in there. They had vision of everyone in the pit, pretty much. Yeah, they did. I mean, they knew something was up, right? The 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 option is, hey, listen, we saw him go over this ward. Unless they decided to five man recall in Baron Pit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's what they're doing. Or I'm going to throw this one your way. They're doing Baron. Yeah. They, they, <laughs> they were very likely doing Baron, and that was the case. But, you know, the pace that they're playing right now is pretty advanced. They, they're getting Baron pretty much on spawn. Uh, it, they're just so far ahead. You know, they're kind of reeling, trying to catch up, and they're just too far behind to even try to contest that. So it's almost a better for them not to even try. They. Absorb the blow of losing Baron. Maybe they find a pick if they get cocky. But uh, just as I'm saying that, Nico thinks she's sly really? and by being a little caster minion here. And now the oh. question is, how tilted are they? Are they going to realize this is happening? They wall off to try to get the tower. I'm not too sure about that wall. It didn't really do too much. They do. It is enough pressure, though, for them to guarantee secure this tower. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it is silly. The minion looks so... Yeah, he's just walking around all crazy. The teleport Again, is coming he in. No, he got pulled by Nautilus oh. Hook. There's a lot of damage going down. Azir drops his turret. Nico is still here, by the way. They don't oh. know. <laughs> Wait, is, oh, there she is. How is Nico still... Oh, there she is. She finally... <laughs> the jig is up, she says, and she finally reveals herself. But this tower almost certainly going to fall. They just don't have the pressure to try to contest this. And that is going to be inhibitor turret mid down. The inhibitor about to fall. And you got to think UMass tries to pull the trigger here. Ash arrow is down. They do not have that form of engage. So I don't think they have any real way to engage this. But look at how bad this is. You can see right here over for the UMass thing. You see Azir uh, kind of almost leading the charge at this point. He was yeah. right behind the inhib. The rest of the team was behind him. Y you can't so have they're, that. They're on yeah. different wavelengths. If you want to do anything, Azir is your guy. Oh, Orn, Orn does go for the engager. Oh, they're getting yeah. a little over cocky. Nautilus oh, falls. Geez. The Aatrox will fall as well. They get, they bite off more than they can chew, and the chase is on. The Ashlo lands. Nico is in trouble. Azir at the forefront. The end of the huge play by the Azir. Getting the shutdown, and a clean age triple kill Azir, and UMass is back in the game. That is what we'd like to see. They tied up 13-13 right there. It's beautiful. They overplayed their hand. They know they have the Baron buff. They took mid That's and they said, huge. listen, we have a wave pushing the bot lane. We want to go over there. We want to take bot too. Oh, oh my god. Did not... Orn have other plans for that vegan was chicken? Extremely well played and we're reaching the point where the um, enchanted mythics are going to be coming in for Orn. Yeah, right. right. You, you've made it. You've made it this far. Um, Ash has actually put up her first kill, so this is great. Yeah, that's huge. That this getting over that hurdle is going to feel absolutely amazing for. Yeah, her. and you know, honestly, a huge misplay by Vegan Chicken. They think, ah, oh, we're fine. We can tank this tower. We don't have a wave. That's fine. They should have just played that out, waited for the next wave, and just pushed in. But no, but no. Gold right now, just a million times closer. This is here. Look at, look at, okay. Cranking. Yeah, look Highest at. Highest gold in the game, he is, almost. He, he, he's pretty close over there, yeah. but look at, uh, uh, look at Ash and look at MF it's right tough. now. It, this it's is still a tough hurdle. 4,000 practically but, gold difference. But at the end of the day, as long as Ash has an R key, she can impact a fight. That is all she needs. 
and she has her core items. This is like that mid-game Ash power spike that a lot of people are doing nowadays. So she she has some power right now. It's a yeah. little bit delayed, but she has some power. She has, She's definitely going to do something in a team fight. Just hopefully it's enough for her team to get back the, in it. But the story is Azir. You, you're right. The story is Azir. And the problem is Azir. Oh, my God. Holy Thresh. Shit. Oh, no. Ash, just run away, Gone. please. Yeah. All right. So the, the, the story is Azir. And I think you're absolutely right. The problem is he just used his flash to stop that MF yes. ult and get a triple kill. He doesn't have that. No, no. And he's going to need that kind of playmaking. Aatrox is here. Here comes Talia. Azir's going to try to hide under his turret. He's Does dead. a good amount of Gone. damage, but yeah. Talia Burst is absolutely huge. He's going to be picking that kill I up. don't know what the shot calling is that says, Azir, go push bottom you by see, yourself right now. Even even the play bottom, it was responsive. You know, they found an avenue where they made a mistake. But if Vegan Chicken doesn't make any mistakes the rest of the game, they're not go UMass is not going to get back into this game. But what I don't understand is Thresh has just died. You just yeah. have vision on people. That oh, oh man! Oh, fire, the oh, ash all land. It's a lot of damage. A really the effective is coming ash up here, yeah. right here, Dang. and he gets her down. <laughs> but back to the, the other thing is, listen, you know they're around Dragon, right? You know yep. Dragon's coming up, and you put a zero on the split push. I don't understand no, the call. It, you know at least four people can it, show it's up. It's very at that delusional. Point. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, you cannot put anyone on the split if you're down a man to start the fight off. Like, right, especially your best player. Even if you're even point. if you're even, you can't look for those no, fights. You have to look for not. misnumbered fights and just commit to whatever you're doing. But a really nice play top lane, understanding they did have a numbers advantage there, a good arrow by the Ash, yep. timing it with the Ore knockup to guarantee the arrow hit, and then Graves coming over, finishing off with the ult. They do commit three ults, but the ult, the cooldown on Graves and Ash isn't that high. So a really nice play, getting some gold back in their pockets. Yeah, Josh, I want to get your opinion because you're used to taking it from behind. What do you do if you're UMass here right now, okay? You had that little bit of a comeback play. You get the energy back in you, and then you have three deaths on your team. You lose a dragon. It takes the energy out of you. What do you do? I'm going to put you in the captain role chair again. So I'm the captain. You know, I say, you know, if oh, y'all you you win tonight, um, I'm taking you out. And where are they going? Hibachi. Applebee's. Applebee's. They're going everywhere. They're going they're to Applebee's. They're going to Hibachi. Corral. They're going to the strip club. They're going to the bar. They're going everywhere. You know, give these guys some some beef. Give them some juice. Juice them up real quick. Make sure they get these picks. That's all they can really do, I feel like. Um, they do have a decent number of towers killed bot lane. Yeah, but, so but. you want that in hip or something, but... You know, even if you send people you down know, there, I mean, I'm a little scared for these guys. You know, the gold lead is pretty much the same as it was about 20 minutes ago. Right. So, that being said, a lot has equalized. And this team does, you know, it's, it's tough. Because late game, I think both teams are very strong. But right now, uh, definitely Vegan Chicken has the advantage. But UMass, the scaling is huge. The Orn going to become an unkillable monster. The Azir as well. Thresh landing some hooks here, but you can't really commit to this. They're all grouped as five, and you're a little bit split off. If you get engaged on right here, it could be, he, have huge ramifications. That's Baron going over. That is all the tempo you have clawed back, gone. So you got to be really careful. It's going to be very hard for them to find an opening if they're grouped as five. Absolutely, and this is an interesting little stalemate at the yeah. moment. Um, at least UMass learned. Whichever team engages is oh going to be my. in for a rough time. Oh, and just as I say that, okay. Graves tries to go for the engage, gets chunked out of his mind, and he is basically out of any fight. But Nico taking a lot of return damage as well. That being said, they do have the avenue on to this Baron. They know Graves cannot stick around. They have the smite advantage, and this Baron is almost certainly going to go over. But Azir looking for a play here. Ash and Thresh behind him as well. And so is Orn. You look for the play. They get the hook onto the Nautilus. The damage is going to be huge. But they get off the Baron temporarily, but they go back onto it. They know they still cannot enter the fight. But Graves is back at this point. And they decide, all right, we're going to lick our wounds and walk away. A nice play by UMass to contest that and get them off the Baron. Yeah, very good job. And that's the hope that you need, right? Is we... we you, you have to understand that if you're UMass, Vegan is respecting your decision to contest it right now, and they think at this point. That's very important yes. that I say they think, they think that exactly. you can you can win that fight right there. So you need to start playing your hand a little bit more. Yes. And Azir is looking massive right now. First one to three items by my calculation. Actually, no, I, the Talia is still huge. But still, three. those are like, that's Azir's core right there. That is how you're going to be doing the massive deeps 
Void Staff not going to be too far behind that. He is just going to be decimating fights if given the opportunity. Uh, Orin pushing out a little bit too far here, possibly. Going to have to back off and make sure he doesn't give away any advantages for his team. But next point of contention, this dragon, sole point for vegan chickens. Yeah, and, and Josh brings up a good question. Why did Graves get the item upgrade first over the Azir? Interesting. No, the Azir. Hey, you're the wrong. Item upgrade. Yeah, you were wrong, Josh. Is what I was about to say. Azir's had oh, the item upgrade this whole time. Yeah. Yes, he, he, he was actually his... the first to get it for my calculations. <laughs> <laughs> How does that work now? So Orin gives it to them, or they yeah, at level at him. level thirteen, he can upgrade his own item, and then at fourteen and fifteen, he can upgrade every two subsequent others. level. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I like that. That's cool. Yeah, it is pretty cool. So. By level 17, everything's going to be upgraded. But does he give it to them or the players? Yeah, he has to be them. in yeah, range of them and he clicks range. on them, basically. Oh, I see. Okay. It's a cool little cool little thing Lauren can yeah, do. Yeah, it is. It is. So look at this. Making their way over here to the Baruno. Uh, I, I would, they, yeah, I would have started off. They went right over Vision. Oh, oh this no. Is smart. They want to go for no, Dragon. It's, this, this is a good play by Vegan Chickens. Understanding we can get Soul next time around if the game even lasts that long. What they can contest with is Baron. This is a horrible trade by UMass. They cannot give Baron for Dragon. If you were getting Soul, that's one thing. You're not getting Soul here. You're getting second Chemtech. That is not going to be no, enough to get you back into I this game. I get you. You, you want to try to deprive them of the Soul. I understand that. But from where the position that you are at currently yes. and how they are, you want to contest that Baron. That's inhibitor gone. Yeah, it's it's gone. So you're automatically in a rough position. You have to send somebody mid lane, at least two people, to keep pushing that uh, to deal with this. Yeah. And then for the next few minutes, you're going to be in trouble with the yeah, Baron buff going There's on no right objectives now. on the map to, for them to get distracted. It's going to be pushing waves, and you're going to have to weather this storm. Uh, oh, yeah. There is still an there's still an inner tower in top lane that they can take. They're yeah. gonna take that free gold, and then they're just sieging the base at that point. And you've got a gaping hole right up the middle, and you don't want to expose your gaping hole like no, that. No, you don't. <laughs> you don't. And you you gotta have to kind of wonder what's Vegan Chicken's plan, right? Did they take Baron just because they can take Baron, or do they have a game plan with this right now? Are they kind of looking? It looks like we have a four-one split right here that says, "Hey, listen, top lane's a little bit kind of doing how it's doing." Let's just four-man push top lane. Let's take the inhibitor while Aatrox on the other side tries to take this inhibitor because yeah. it's an open inhibitor. No, 4-1 right, four, four right now. There's not a lot you can do. Aatrox has the TP. No fight is going to be... Oh, MF kills herself. No, but she gets out. Oh, the damage goodness. is going to be huge. Nico's no, go not no. enough. Holy and Azir shit. is going to fall at the end of the day. But the trade kill comes over. Graze picks that one up. Aatrox TP's in. A little bit too late. The hook lands. This fight could go bad. Aatrox not really landing. Orn over the wall is a knockoff wouldn't be enough. It's he misses nobody. everyone. But oh, a Lasagna, big flash! It's not going to be enough. Orn still goes in. Graze looking to pick more up. MF off the shoes. This fight is crazy. A two for two so far. They look for more, but a really good fight at the end of the day by UMass. Picking up those kills, getting MF out of the fight is absolutely massive. A, an even trade at this point in the game is basically a win. So unfortunate that Nico survived with about 100 HP right. and, and the got MF, the ult The off. MF yeah. as well. They well, almost had the drop on both of them. I know. And, and the sad part was is Graves had the flash, right? But instead of flashing to the side and getting out of the MF ult, he flashed <laughs> forwards <laughs> yeah. to try to get over there, which resulted in his death. I mean, you have to wonder, does that change anything? You know what I mean? You can never know. We'll always steer size about it. Uh, but what that does, then, what that does, is give you more time in this game for yeah. sure. You pull the Aatrox off the split push. You go for an even fight, and you go even. You lose the inner tower, but that was fodder. That was going yeah, to die yeah, at some yeah. point anyway. So you're in a pretty decent spot to at least extend the game and give yourself a chance. Maybe you get that next dragon. Maybe you stack it even further. The further this game goes, the better for UMass. They have Azir already level 18, still going to get a little bit stronger. Still going to complete that void staff. Orn, almost level 18 himself, getting tanky out of his mind. Ash, kind of almost becoming a champion, almost working on her third item. She's still very far behind. Yeah, so. and, and Nautilus has dropped to that point where he's good for his CC. That's it. Um, at, 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 at this point, I mean, you have a lot of damage with yeah. Talia, Aatrox, and Nico, and MF. So you, you don't need too much out of Nautilus besides that first engage. That's Ooh. all you need from also, him. Also, a really nice buy by the Nautilus. The Abyssal Mask by the Nautilus is 
Yeah. yeah. With two high burst damage APs on his True. team. Very such good, such yeah. a nice pick. I love that Abyssal Mass pickup by him. Yeah, it is. And, and I think you're right. It, the game has been extended, right? The game it keeps going. And you just kind of hope that, hey, listen, as long as all of us get 18 across the board, we can kind of win these team fights right here. But the problem still is, is no one besides that Azir who's been able to flash and get to the MF. No one has ever been able to get to her outside of that. Yeah, it's tough. And that is the problem right now. But her flash is down, oh, and an Oral is going to come in here. The Nautilus is going to get CC chained to his death. That is a free kill going over. Nico is going to teleport in. The Orn is looking for more. The Ash is slowing everybody, but the Nico ult comes in, but Orn is just tanking it all. The rest of the team is just free hitting. The Zhonya wow. comes in, buys enough time, possibly, but the Aatrox oh, is going to go shit. down. Wow, They're all that. low. They're going to have to lick their wounds and run away a four. Four, no, a three for one at the end of the day. Wait, yeah. what? And, two for one. Two, two for so one. Nico two for and MF so low. Oh my god! Yeah, I thought more job. than that died. That's crazy. Orn yeah. did his job right there. I he mean, did, that guy just says, "Fuck y'all! I'm coming in. I'm going. I'm so, coming inside he's not, right yeah. now." He still has I'm two going. more items to yes. go. He's got to finish his thorn mail and then finish off his last item. He's the only going, only going to get tankier. And the, and the sad part is the GA did not proc to the MF, so it does. It's tough. It is around for the that is tough. Fight at this point. This MF is building so smart has two defensive items. She has the Edge of Night, the edge of night and, and, the, and, GA. and the GA. Yeah. She has both going for her. Is playing it smart, understanding if she dies, she is the majority of the team's damage. She cannot mm. afford to go down. That edge and of look night at is this. So good. Right here, this, so nice. this game could come down to this dragon fight right now. Uh, the Chemtrack Dragons go over. That is three to three for the dragons, and everyone's going to peel off on the side of UMass right here. But look at this. Look at this. The pings start coming out over to the Baron. The Baron is coming up very soon. We got 30 seconds on it. The Pryo obviously goes to Vegan Chicken. Yes. If they get another Baron, this might be too they, much. They play the map right. It could be possibly too you much. Know, this could be it for them. I will say this. I will say this. A really, really effective job by UMass for staying in the game this long. They were down a substantial amount of gold and they've kept it pretty much at that same threshold the majority of the game. Yeah. So a really effective job. But this is going to be very hard for them to enter this pit. The vision is basically fully cleared, and they're going to have to enter this kind There's of blind. There's the Baron right here. We, they have vision. They, they have to play this aggressively, but it looks like Vegan Chickens kind of anticipates the fight coming. They are going to just jockey position onto mid lane here, get this wave pushing back out. Maybe try to look for a play onto his ear. The hook lands onto the Aatrox. It's just not going to be enough to go off and engage. And it's really going to come down to can Orin find a good ultimate. That is going to be the go button for the team. They do manage to get this mid tower. A little bit of consolation gold going over, but all gold is good gold. That's right. Finally, 37 minutes into the game, the first mid tower I goes know. down to the side of UMass. <laughs> I mean, the score is 18-18. It is tied at three dragons. So next dragon is a soul point for either team yeah. at this point. Uh, it, it's amazingly so close just because of the composition of you, Matt. 5k gold at 40 minutes yeah. is almost negligible. And especially because how hard the champions scale inside of UMass. Uh, th that being said, though, Ash is still a little bit gimped. What is this recall? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Luckily, nothing hit. Yeah, nothing, nothing hit him. Nothing went crazy, but that, that was a, a bit crazy. But right listen, there. they know that he wants to recall at this point. They they already know. Yep. So they're going to start looking over to here for some Baron. That is two players that just went back. Azir and Thresh have fully recalled. They have Vision yeah, they, on Orn they, to know what it's on. And they know they have they swept it. They can't afford to do this they, have no, they, they know that there's no wards the, around the, here. This Baron is going to go down no, instantaneously. It, no, and the Azir. Your TP, the two inch TP, is just not going to be enough. They cannot afford to base on vision. The amount of damage you do at this point in the game is too much. They burst that thing down almost immediately. They try to get a consolation fight at the end. It's just not going to be there. Or, maybe I spoke too soon, Orn looking for it. He cues just to get a little bit closer. The Orn ult comes in. How many will he hit? He Does misses it. everything. Oh, the Nautilus no. CCs him out of it, but the Nautilus will die. We'll get a transition back to us for no reason. Where's the What's fight? What's happening? The fight's there. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Somebody dies. I don't know who, but yeah. somebody else will die. It will be the Aatrox. A one for two so far. The rest of the team getting chased away. The main carry is still uh, alive. The takeaway is Vegan Chickens lost the fight there. Uh, which is, yeah, vegan Chickens did lose the fight. It was a two for one. Azir still has his ultimate. Thresh still has his ultimate oh, at this point. Talia one. is a bit in trouble. Oh, they flash in. The damage is going to be there. Ray's going for it. One more auto damage. attack will do it. Oh, and then the Zanyas, the MF, going to damage her down. Is it going to be enough? MF Nico is going to... with the... Oh. 
The one for one trade so far, it is currently a total three for two. The GA, oh, the GA pops. finally, the oh, Thresh in line for the hook, times it perfectly, oh MF God. will go down, oh Nico about God. to go down as well, the Zon is not going to be enough to save her, goes back behind the tower, but it's only a matter of time now, they chase her down, they burn down this tower, the and slow from the Ash, Ash. Yep. lands, Thresh just lying this hook up, it can't possibly go sour, oh, Azir shit. picks that one up, and you, Mass, trying to pull the miracle off. time, off. is taking the lead. Oh in God. the kill advantage and the gold no not the gold. no no not the gold <laughs> i i got a little hype on that, that one because <laughs> yeah. it's the same the same digits yeah i know mm. holy shit it's crazy yeah wow. and that if you're incredible. ums you got to be feeling good that was a, a fantastic fight and you got both of ms get out of jail free cards that fight i mean sure the edge of night will come back up but the ga the gone. Five minutes, gone those five minutes the are ga big. is gone for the dragon who comes into uh, the soul point, which is an ocean soul, which Ooh. is going to be very good for either team, actually, at this point. Right. And this is actually three consecutive fights in a row that we have seen Nautilus die without doing anything. No. He has been picked out he, immediately. That's that's the thing. Nautilus late game, man. You just play a little bit too far forward to get burst in. All you have is CC. That's what I was saying. Yeah. All you have is CC, mm -hmm. but you're useless if you get stuck in a 1v5 situation yep. where you can't help your team. And that is really what's been throwing in the towel for yeah. vegan chickens right here. Is this Nautilus keeps it's dying tank, solo? It's tank diff. You know, yeah. the Orn is getting in there tanking, engaging for his team. Orn even misses the second part of his ultimate. It doesn't right. matter. He's there tanking the damage. They try to, like, go back in on top of the Orn, but the Orn just soaks so much damage. They can't get the rest of the team. They just have, like, a HP advantage, basically. Uh, look at this fight right they here. Look, yeah, they, Aatrox looks for a fight, but he's got to be careful. He's at the point right now, one hook lands... It's going to be a problem. And Orn, Orn getting a little bit cocky, pushing up a little bit too far. The Talia goes for a wall. They try to cut Orn off, but team, yeah. Orn just has to basically walk away and wait for this to wear off. Damn it. Nautilus getting slow, getting absolutely destroyed, and a huge ultimate by the Orn. Going to be going in, and a huge one by the Azir as well, but it is a little bit too far. The MFO goes over Azir's top. Azir's going to go down. The Azir is going to go down, but the rest of the team is going to fall. Aatrox is the only one to have a triple kill for the Azir. How many people can he take down? I don't think it's going to matter. I think UMass is going to take this game. Aatrox, the GA procs, but he falls for a live 42 minutes into the Look game. Look at this. They, they have a way, but UMass is going to take this one in a massive they come from behind it. victory. Instead of taking the Soul Dragon, they're going to push to end they have 40 seconds left it's in it the death that's timer. the game that is it you mad hammers has won a win and they got themselves a win the hometown team comes through wow. in the end, fighting tooth and nail and finally getting the last engage they need a true power play by the azir carrying his team to the victory beautiful play by everyone involved gray is having a massive game as well 10 6 and 10 and Orn doing his part. Huge game by UMass, pulling that one off. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Wow, that was the best game of the split. Yeah, that, no, was, that was crazy. Hands down, that was the best game I've cast in a while. Yeah, yeah. Insane. Azir, Azir and Graves really did a good job of doing the damage for the team. The thresh yes. hooks were very good. Yes. The Orn tanking and engages oh, were very good. A lot of those late engages came off the thresh hook, yes. getting that Nautilus chip to start the fight. And then Orn's like, all right, I got the avenue. I'm going to go right. for my ult engage. And Azir playing assassin Azir, just going in, chunking people, throwing his ult down, pushing people out, right. getting huge damage down with his soldiers, sacrificed his life for that team victory right there. That's how you do it. Incredible. Right there. Yeah, that, that's Absolutely that's incredible it. play. Really yeah. well done by UMass. And that is a game they needed. They needed that game. Big time. Big time. Big time. That puts them right up in the evens with Obsidian. Uh, and now they just need to hope Obsidian loses and that UMass takes another game. Yes. And that's it. Boom. They're right back into the playoffs, which is right. incredible. I, but if there's, you're ever going to pat yourself on the back for a game, that's the game you do. Honestly, that, that might have been game of the split. The underdogs going into it. Take that one. We're going to have to take a little bit of a break here just to regain ourselves after that yeah, one. We'll be back soon. Too. Wait till the next one. It's going to be even hotter than this. Oh, my goodness. I hope.